Woo. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I knew this would be what we'd talk about tonight. But you know what? I actually do have a lot to say about this. A lot. So strap in your seatbelts, folks. And let's start this party. That's right. Welcome back to Unwoken. Guns, Opposition, and Profanity. I'm Scott Davis, and today we're going to be talking about dating and our generation. Now before we do that, y'all have about five seconds to get all the laughter out. Five, four, three, two, and one. So let's dive right on into it, man. Look, I think the biggest problem with dating now in our generation are these things right here. Yeah, they're convenient. But the thing that's supposed to connect us more and make it easier for us to interact with each other more is the one thing that separates us from having the ability to do that in person. You're going to hear me mention a lot of things when it comes down to posture. All right. I believe posture is everything. Everything. Eye contact. The way you carry yourself whenever you walk into a room. These things right here. You can hide behind them and just text like that. You don't have to focus on eye contact. Look, gentlemen, I'm going to hop on your case. Say you're sitting at a bar. Don't sit at the bar with your arms around your drink like that. That closes you off. And look, one of the biggest reasons that I believe we're at the point where we're at in our society is Hollywood movies have conditioned men in our generation to think That a woman wants us to be that guy standing outside of her window holding a boombox after you just fucked up. Let me tell you something, partner. You shouldn't have fucked up too bad to where you have to stand outside of the girl's window with a boombox. You see what I'm saying there? (laughs) Look, in all reality. Look, if you're that guy that's listening to this. You're not confident. You don't feel like you can approach that beautiful woman that you see. You're not a risk taker, a shot maker, a shot taker. Listen up. You can improve yourself a little each day. All right? And don't do it. Here's the problem. The biggest problem that people have whenever making self-improvements. They're doing it for somebody else. No. If you're going to make a self-improvement, you have to do it for yourself. I'm going to give you a prime example. And you know, I never really tell this story. And my close friends are the only ones who know it. Now y'all about to know it too. Look, it took me about three years ago getting my heart crushed, dude, like crushed. To where I had to take a look in the mirror and say, you know, I'm always able to approach these beautiful women. Get their number, ask them out on a date, make it to the second date. Yet I can never get to that point where I'm, I'm, I say I'm ready. I used to say I was ready for a relationship, but I was moving too fast in reality. Look, gentlemen, in all actuality, a woman is going to let you know whenever she's ready to be in a relationship with you. All right. As a man, your job is to lead. That's your job to lead. To lead that interaction to the point. All right. My biggest problem was. About three years ago, I could act like I was confident. In a public place, I could act it out. But whenever I got to that date. That second date or whenever we're just chilling by ourselves. 
that same guy that she was attracted to walking through that bar or wherever we met, that same confident guy wasn't the same guy that she was attracted to whenever it was just us chilling because I wasn't confident in myself. You see? And that's a major point to realize. Until you love yourself and you feel confident within yourself, you're going to be lying to yourself and to that girl. Let's get down to the dating apps, all right? Bumble and Tinder, because, yeah, hey, I'm on it. No shame. I'm a single bachelor. <clears throat> you see what I did there? <laughs> no, I do think that Bumble is one of the most interesting concepts to a dating app ever. The woman having to make a first move. Now, ladies, let me tell you something. If we're going to match on Bumble, I want to be equally wooed with the pickup line now. Because you being able to message first takes away from my pickup line. All right? I need to be wooed here. All right? Let's get that down. <laughs> Look, uh, when it, can, when it comes down to the whole dating aspect, like I said, this is an opinion-based show. So there's a book I read called How to Be a 3% Man. I've read it 15 times. It's by Coach Corey Wayne. Because I believe in self-help, self-improvement. I try to improve myself a little more each and every day to try to become the best version of myself. And in this book, there's an exercise. And I challenge all of you to do this. All of you. So write down the top 10 qualities you look for in a person that you'd like to date. The top 10. And on the other side of that paper, write down the top 10 qualities that you could absolutely not date a person that has those qualities so the top 10 qualities you absolutely find disgusting you despise that you could not deal with all right so you have 10 and 10 here now obviously you're not gonna find somebody that matches all 20 of those qualities or doesn't have you know you get what i'm saying so what you're gonna have to do here Narrow it down to five and five. Now read out those qualities that you have that you want in a person. Those five qualities that you absolutely have to have. Read them again. Now ask yourself, do you embody those same qualities that you're looking for? The same qualities that you're looking for in a person, do you embody them? And if you don't, you have some self-improving to do because you're not going to find that person if you don't embody what you're looking for. See, me, I'm an optimistic person. I love life. Every day that I wake up is the next best day of my life. Me and a pessimist could never be together. Me dating a liberal, never going to happen, obviously. <laughs> we all know that. Never going to happen. You see what I'm getting at? The biggest takeaway from this whole video, this whole podcast, you know, improving yourself on a daily basis can attract all kinds of new people into your life. In all kinds of different possibilities, all kinds of different jobs, th this and that. You know, what I'm trying to get to is don't look for another person to make your happiness. You shouldn't go into a relationship thinking that that person is the reason for your happiness. You have to already be happy. And going into a relationship is sharing that gift of your happiness with that person.